Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to 30 CAGR YouTube channel. My name is Raj. And uh, friends, yesterday we discussed about these new rules proposed by SEBI's panel. And there are one or two uh, big proposals that will change the entire picture of this FNO spectrum, right? So we discussed about them uh, in detail in yesterday's video. And I got so many good questions uh, in the comment section and I thought I will discuss about one or two uh, points today. So if you are an options trader, especially options buyer, please watch the video till the end. This is going to help you a lot. Okay. And um, as we all know, first rule is FNO lot size might be increased from 5 lakhs to maybe 20 or 25 lakhs. Right. This is the contract uh, value of each uh, lot. They are going to increase from 5 lakhs to 20, 20. 5 lakhs or even 30 lakhs which means today if you can get a one option short or selling for 60k it might go to like 3 lakhs or even more okay and of course the second one is uh, uh, to probably not have five expiries all five days and they are restricting their i mean they proposed to restrict nse to one uh, weekly index and bsc also to one weekly index right uh, today we are going to discuss something about this okay for option buyers because many option buyers are thinking that it, this rule probably might not affect them right because option buyers they pay the premium upfront they they don't have any margins they don't first of all option buying does not need the margin whatever you pay is called premium only option sellers need the margins so option buyers are thinking that it doesn't really affect them and uh, this is a very wrong misconception and if anything the most affected traders because of this rule will be option buyers okay so let us see how this is really going to affect option buyers but before we see if you haven't subscribed to this channel do subscribe because these are the in-depth knowledge videos that we are going to see in future also you can be option buyer option seller or even the equity trader subscribe to this channel and i will bring more such detailed videos to you all right so let's let's discuss i'll give you a small example first let us say you are an option buyer and you have a capital of 1 lakh most of the option traders in india have a capital around 1 to 2 lakhs right so if you have capital with 1 lakh and uh, let's say you are trading in bank nifty which has 15 quantity uh, for one lot and you bought something that's at 100 rupees premium your profit or loss will be 1500 rupees which is 1.5% isn't it so 1.5% is your profit or loss now as per this rule now what this panel is proposing is to increase it by five times which means of course the lot size also will be increased this 15 lot size will become how much it will become 75 so what will happen is this client or this trader who has 1 lakh just because it is increased by 5x okay he will not bring 5x and then trade with 5 lakhs no that's not going to happen he is not going to do that he will still trade with 1 lakh only and he thinks that even though the lot size is 75 and the premium is 100 he thinks that only 7500 is required and then he still has the capital 1 lakh and he goes ahead and then trades with 7500 rupees which makes this rr okay risk reward to 7.5 percent let us say you are exiting 100 percent for 100 percent profit your target is 100 percent right so you might get 7.5 percent if you get profit if you get loss also you get 7.5 percent but the point here is when you are trading you should not go ahead uh, you know assuming that you get so and so profit you have to go ahead assuming that what happens if i get so and so loss and uh, if you get 7.5% loss, it's very, very natural that, you know, this 100 rupees option might never fly and it might, you know, come down and become zero. So what essentially happens is you are going to wipe out 7.5% today, okay, or in future when these rules get applied against 1.5% that is happening today. So this is, this is like the major dent that is going to happen to option buyers. This is a critical uh, and typical risk management rule that one has to think about 
okay uh, i'm sure so many traders option buyers especially uh, who have like 50000 1 lakh 1.5 lakh they don't really apply risk management concepts right so it is time for you to think about this scenario because once the rules get applied of course it will not happen in the next two or three days it will take its own sweet time like three months to six months but once it gets applied the most affected will be option buyers from risk management perspective for option sellers this problem is not there because if they have margin they will pay to the broker and still it will be the same risk reward for them they already have a strategy in mind and if they don't have money then they will not trade at all so it's like yes or no okay but here what is happening is they already have money and just the lot size is increasing and so they will go ahead and you know trade and then they are going to lose more now there is one catch here let us say there is someone who has 10 lakhs capital today okay and he is trading in let's say in 10 lots and each lot is how much 15 quantity so today he is trading in 150 quantity now if this 5x rule is applied this guy is not going to suffer why why because instead of trading 10 lots now he will only trade in two lots because two lots into 75 new lot size is 150 quantity again and again his risk reward will absolutely be the same it will not change so what i want to tell you is guys with higher capital they are not going to probably suffer from risk management perspective i'm saying sellers also might not suffer because of i mean from the risk management perspective but a deadly combination one who is an option buyer and one who has less capital a person with these two parameters is going to suffer heavily right so you need to plan of course not today but in future once this rule gets applied or if this rule gets applied you need to think what you are going to do whether you are going to bring in more capital or you are going to shift to equity whatever it is but be prepared be you know planned and uh, trade as per your risk appetite and that brings us to the end of the video in case if you haven't subscribed do subscribe and hit on bell icon meanwhile as you know uh, in case if you wish to avail any free tools you know where to go bluechipalgos.com this is the site where we have all kinds of you know tools or trainings or strategies whatever you want and uh, just go visit um, in case if you have any questions also you can put it in the comments or you have our details in the contact page just whatsapp us and we will clarify all your questions uh, otherwise thank you so much for watching and have a great day